After mastering uh, how to display the output onto the console, we will now like to display output using the GUI components in Java. And in order to do so, we would like to create a class by right-clicking on our project. And after we right-click on our project, we go to New and we pick Class. After we pick a class, we would like to give it a name. Let me call this one First Dialog Class. Public static void main, as we have always done in the past. And let's click finish. Now, once we click finish, let's organize the class as we have all get always organized in the past. This is how my class structure looks like. As you know, in Java, they have organized the classes um, in packages. And packages, um, instead of being separated by slashes, as you would separate um, in a particular uh, operating system environment, for example, if your file is located in C drive, uh, you're going to write it as C colon backslash program files backslash my project. Java has taken a little different approach. If Java has to go to program files my project, Java will write it like this C dot instead of a slash program files dot my project dot. And if my project has a file called file1.txt, Java will going to call it file1. So this is the equal instructor that Java follows uh, instead of the way we follow the directory structure in an operating system. So Java uses these periods between. So basically, we're going to take advantage of this Java feature, and we would like to incorporate a built-in class called JOptionPane, which will going to allow us to display a dialog box on the screen with a message. Uh, so pretty much, as you can display messages on the console, you can display messages in a GUI, in a, in a GUI dialog box. So we would like to import a package. This is done with the help of an import statement, followed by the name of the package. We have a package called Java X. So pretty much you can envision it as it is a main folder. This main folder has a subfolder called Swing. The Swing subfolder has a class called J Option Pane. And right now you can see that this has been underlined in orange. Eclipse does that for us if we have introduced a class and we haven't used it yet. But as we start using it, it will going to take that away. So J Option Pane is a class that belongs to the Java X.Swing package that allows you to display a dialog box. So now let's write the code to display the dialog box. J Option Pane. Notice the first parameter is null because this dialog box is not associated with any windows. In the later tutorials, as we start assigning dialog boxes to particular windows, we can give the reference of that window here. And this is where I can write a message like first Java dialog box that I would like to display this message onto the screen. And since it's a dialog box, um, if you close the dialog box, it just simply doesn't get flushed out of the memory until you issue this command. This is more applicable if you're trying to execute this from the console. So system.exit will flush it out of the memory and we're going to simply not only, because closing a dialog box will only close it but will not flush it out of the memory. So this would just flush it out of the memory as well. So this is my class that's created. I've saved it. And now I would like to execute this. And voila, here is the output. Now this is the dialog box that is automatically produced when I call the show message dialog box from J Option Pane. We will explore the other features of show message dialog box later in the course, but for now, this is an alternate way of displaying graphical user interface output in the Java environment. Just remember, don't forget to import the package. Let me get rid of the code that I don't need just so that my code 
looks a li little bit more cleaner and if I hit OK here the dialog box will gonna go away and uh, I'm back to my application thank you for watching it